Swole Benji here. I know some of you guys out there are economists. You're like masters of the, you know, the market. And that's what this video is about today. We're talking about the early game economy. All right. So let me just uh, open the trading post here. And uh, because honey is free in literally, literally every town, like honey is super cheap. Now, this is an interesting thing here is... Crossweave, you use this to, to take hemp and to make it tier 3, and it is the cheapest material, right? It's literally pennies, because I guess either people don't like harvesting hemp, especially in Everfall, because there's not a lot of hemp around. Um, <laughs> but you can see there are very, uh, like, there's a lot of quantity of this stuff, and people are trying to offload it like crazy. But if you were to... Uh, take uh, <laughs> uh, another material that's used to refine iron that stuff is expensive okay and real quick there is a very simple way once you hit tier I believe like the second tier of your faction that you, you can make some big bucks right and let, let me just explain you go to your faction person and this character reverence. is Fellow not tier 2 so I can't actually buy it but once you hit the second rank, you can go down here to the common material converter and it only costs 100 faction tokens. And, you know, just just playing for like an hour doing faction missions, I was able to get 5000 tokens. So I could buy what, like 50, 50 of these, um, 500 of these. Uh, and each one of these is going to be able to convert 15 materials. Right. So let, let me show you what, what, what that exactly means. Right. So, I'm just going to go to the Weaver here, and, well, this character does not have the ability unlocked, so let me uh, go here instead. So, like, Rugged Leather, it takes Tannin, right? Which is another cheap resource. But, let's say I didn't have the Tannin. Well, I can use the Material Converter, and I can pick any of these other things. Remember Crossweave? That's literal pennies? I can take Crossweave, use the Common Material Converter, which I can buy hundreds of really easily, and then convert it to tannin, right? But a uh, sand flux, that's the expensive one. And solvent, I don't think solvent's expensive, but let's go look at sand flux real quick because uh, I guarantee you it's it's not pennies, it's probably dollars or coins or whatever the currency is called. Okay, <laughs> let's let's take a look at uh, sand flux and there we go. So sand flux right now is two. 20, at the cheapest, 225 This guy's got 300 of them. The next one up is $6. So you should never, ever buy Sand Flux. Like, why would I pay two... Like, look how much money that would cost to buy 300 right? Or I can go to Crossweave. And, uh, and I can just buy hundreds of this and then convert it uh, for... <laughs> Like, I'm paying three dollars. <laughs> I'm paying three dollars for three hundred of these. And uh, for sand flux, let's say this one's not even available because this guy is way undercutting everyone else for some reason. I guess because beta ends in like forty minutes. Like normally, look, look at that, a thousand. Okay, like it's so stupid. And and yes, as people learn this kind of stuff and as the game advances. This will all be normalized. Every MMORPG I've ever played, okay, uh, people will figure this stuff out, but right now they don't know it. On your first couple days, you're maybe the first week of the server, or maybe people are just lazy. They don't, they don't know that these game systems exist because they're too busy questing, or maybe they're gathering, or they just haven't done faction stuff. But the fact that I can just go here and buy a little converter, I greet you in reverence. <laughs> which uh, you need to be like level 25 in the second rank. It really doesn't, it's not that hard. You just go do a, a quick kill quest and you can unlock this. You get the common material, convert, buy a bunch of these, buy a bunch of cross weave, convert it to the sand flux. And you can even resell the sand flux and, and make huge money. It's, it's so... So simple. Ooh, you got a little dancer up there. Oh, no, no, no. Shh, 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 No copyright. No copyright, please. I'm not editing this. Anyway, so that's just that's just one little tidbit on the economy, right? Um, <laughs> I need to get to the market, but that person's playing music. So I'll go around. 
but there's there's a lot of other things too that I want you to mention or that I want you to know. Uh, in the story, the main story quest, there are two materials that every single person has to craft. Uh, one of them is called a uh, petal. It's like fronded petal cap. Petal cap is uh, on the first couple days they're going to sell on the market for hundreds of it's like two to three hundred each, okay? Uh, and you need three of them, so I'm just gonna type petal petal cap. And this stuff is native to Windsward. It's not native to um, Everfall, so it's about 80, 80 bucks here right now. Let's let's see how much it is in. Uh, this is like day what three or four almost. Where is Windsward? Okay, so in Windsward, it's only two to four bucks, right? So if you wanted. You could go to Windsward, or even just fast travel, buy a whole bunch of pedal cap from there because it's really cheap, and then take it to Everfall. And the reason it's expensive in Everfall is because the quest has you go up through Everfall, up here, to this little area to turn it in. And because people will be, you know, they're not going to be... <laughs> they're not going to go from Windsward and then walk all the way up here to turn in the quest. They're essentially just going to teleport to Everfall, and then they will just buy the Petal Cap because they don't know where the Petal Cap is. The Petal Cap is, it's native to Windsward, so you have to go around here and harvest. It's just a, like, like the plant, it shows you what the plant looks like. Like the plant, it, this is exactly what it looks like in the world. You see this, you can harvest it at level one, you don't have to have any levels. And, uh, but yeah, it, it's a huge price difference, so if you want to do some market flipping, you can do that. Um, there's also river crest. River crest stem is also another ingredient that's part of the main story quest. Look at this! 200! <laughs> 500! This stuff is very common. You just go to rivers, and I, I think you need like at least level 10 or 20 or 50 harvesting. I forget how much you need. But like an Everfall... <laughs> Let's go to Windsward. How much is it in Windsward? There, there's none in Windsward. Right, that's crazy. Uh, let's just start clicking all these and see if there's any anywhere else. That is that is insane that this is completely out. It's like, did people just stop harvesting? Is there no harvesters on the server? But yeah, Rivercrest stem, that's another big one. Like day one, man, if you harvest this stuff and you put it on the market, you're going to make some huge bank, okay? Now, there's a few other items too I just want to really quickly talk about. Let's see. Come on, search. Well, it's not working. I mean, oh, you know what? It's probably because I did not mean to attack. No, no, uh, 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 there's music. No music. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Healing. Oh, come on, consumables, potions, healing tentacure. Weak, weak health potion. Okay, day, day one. I, I don't understand. Like, they're still expensive. I, I have a video on my channel that explains how you can make hundreds of these potions in literally a minute or two, right? Uh, but they're still selling for like 50 cents, 99 cents. Like day one, these things were selling for like 10 to 20 each. And and people need these for the town board quests. Same thing with, uh, what is it, mana? the mana ones, the weak mana potions? It, it's just Briary, and these are $3. <laughs> 17! <laughs> like potions are huge money. I don't understand why. Because they're so easy to make, you just go to a, a, a river or a, a lake and you just pick up all the briar and the, the bulrush and you could just pick up the water right there, put it in a campfire, make it. It's so simple. This is a huge money maker. And then finally, of course, this ammo, like Iron Arrow. Like, like I know it doesn't seem like much, but like at 59 cents each and you buy, you know, 100 of them, that's 100 bucks. Uh, these things are incredibly easy to make. You you can make these in mass bulk, and uh, the fact that like once someone buys out this one and this one, they become a dollar, then four dollars, and fifteen dollars, uh, and then like iron cartridges, because you know people like using guns. I again, bullets should never be a dollar. <laughs> these things are incredibly easy to make. I have videos on my channel that explain how to make this, but early game like day one, day two, day three, th these are huge, huge money makers. When I was playing closed beta, I, I think uh, like all I did was focus on, on the market stuff and I, I had something like 80,000 coins within the third day. Just just selling stuff. It's really crazy, right? Now, uh, 
Real quick before we wrap up the video, I do want to mention that like the big biggest money earners, at least early game right now, I don't know what it'll be in the end game, is gems. Which gems are, are a little hard to acquire, like onyx. Like every town sold out of onyx. So for those that don't know, when you cut an onyx and you put it in a weapon, it's like twenty to thirty percent extra damage if the target is at full health. And if you're a bow or a musket user and you get a headshot, that it multiplies so much. So like I found that just gems in general are very expensive. Bags, of course, for armor makers, like like it's two thousand, but it gives you an extra one hundred weight that you can carry around. This is super invaluable. I would suggest making your own. You have to, you know, join a faction and buy runes of holding. They're pretty simple to make. Um, I know in closed beta, I, I made tier four bags, and the entire server was begging me to craft it for them. They were bringing me materials and paying me tons and tons of, of coin. But uh, gems, bags, and any really high quality equipment, like uh, I think there's a, like like here's a really good bow that's gemmed up, and you know it's 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 got the what, plus 16 dexterity? That's exactly what you want on a bow. Uh, though I don't agree with the gem choice. Th these legendary fish, not worth it. Th this is overpriced. Like, don't buy legendary fish. If you fish, you'll get plenty of legendaries. I I, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, once you once you figure out fishing and you use the, the hot spots, you're going to get a ton of these. So it's complete waste. But gems, th they go for so much. Like, here's a crow's nest. Um, this is actually being undersold right now. Like... <laughs> Everyone who's using Hatchet is going to probably want to buy one of these, right? Oh no, there's music! Gotta run on! Ah! Run away! No! No! Polka, polka dot music! <laughs> no, no copyright! Please, no! Is he following me? He is! He's following me! No! No! <laughs> gotta get away! Anyway, I gotta end the video because this is going to, like, copyright me, okay? I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be a pro and stay swole. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being chased by a bulk of monster. <laughs> oh no. No, stop it. I gotta talk over the music. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, leave a like and a, and a comment. If you do both, it's a YouTube algorithm combo. It really helps out. Also, subscribe if you haven't. Um, anyway, just you know, really good market tips. Uh, I, I know some people are gonna be mad that I shared this, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, hey, I'm here to help, okay? Like, I'm gonna be doing these things. If you watch this video and you do these things and it helps you out, then then it, it makes me feel good that I helped out a fellow gamer get ahead of people that, you know, don't watch the videos. So anyway, take care. I will see you in the next one. Uh, <laughs> I got like 20 minutes until the servers go down.